Hey guys, it is Tuesday, August the 31st. We got another video out of order. Video out of order means another walkthrough. Uh, yes, I'm gonna continue to post these pretty much as I film them because they're so much easier to edit and, and post and so on and so forth. So that being said, let's check out the Beehive family. There is a mother and father and four children living in this bus. Take a look at it. Property. <laughs> <laughs> this is Johnny. Hello, bienvenidos. And the Beehive family's bus. Mm. You want to show us around? Yeah, you want to do the outside first? What do, we, what do you want to do? Uh, let's go in, then we'll do the outside. All right, let's go in. So start with the uh, family of six. So you got all the shoes, of course. Shoes in the door. Got, got the, the cockpit. The herbs that Sean Lang likes to grow. Look, she got some nice chili peppers coming in over here. These little hot guys. Right, chili peppers? Mm -hmm. So there is nice. one thing about this bus. Everyone who told me about this bus before I saw it said there is a lot of stuff in this bus. When yeah. you walk in here, your first impression is there is a lot of stuff in this bus. It is impressive what all they've got in here and how they've got it organized and crammed in. The battle bus. Yeah, you're not gonna get it all in one, uh, one tour, that's for sure. So this is Xiong Ling and Johnny, their bus. Mm -hmm. uh, their kids are outside playing right now. Four, yep. four kids, Alexis, Matthew, Chloe, Jacob, went 13, 11, 10, and seven this year. Yeah, so we that's got cool. A dog, a cat, a fish, a snail. I don't even know how many mice are on here right now. A couple Five. mice that are breeding. Alexis is breeding for her snake. And a snake. Yeah. And that's, that's it right now. now. Awesome. A few, things, a few things died and a few things changed places. As far as stuff goes, we can't even start to address it. There is literally. Nope. Everywhere you can put stuff, they have got stuff. And the reason that is, is I wanted the kids to have like their own individual spaces. Yeah, that was like, important. I wanted the kids to have the old school desk where you could lift stuff up. And you know, you got your entire desk is you inside think there. One booby trap I know, desk it's of like the, the worst. The <laughs> They're she's, all bad. She's like How about me. Chloe right now? Without Alexis's stuff. Without, there we go. Yeah, look, Barbie stuff, craziness, nail <gasps> stuff. Oh, you knocked oh, it. Oh, Too oh, far. Oh, oh. Drinks falling. Mom? Yes. Why? Speaking of children, this is Jacob. Can oh. I hemo stop it? No. Yes. Come on. No, 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 so no. She only made her own. Fine, we'll just oh, put the bomb on it. Duh bomb. With some yarrow. No! No, with dry yarrow. Oh. It'll be fine. Natural medicine. Ah. There you go. That looks like a normal way to do it. What'd you do there, Jacob? I was going on my scooter. And then I had my brakes real hard and I touched the wheel. Ooh. Barefoot? Ouch. Yep. Dang. Wow. It didn't really hurt. Well, that's good. Go get a band aid. You know where they're at? In the band aid box. So, how many, got, how many years are you guys in now? October will be three years. Three years complete. Eight, October 2018 to now, 2021. So. I'm assuming full self build. Yep, so we did this all ourselves, all the we electric, got a few, all the a few friends here and there, like our, our brother-in-law helped us weld um, the top deck and put the top deck on. His brother helped put the back deck on that the motorcycle is on right now. Yep, before we got it. our own welder. Before we got our own yeah, welder, so yeah, we now we can the weld welder ourselves. On the bus and, but we've had a few yeah. hands in here. They literally have everything. Like if you run into these guys on the road and you need <laughs> anything, they probably have it on there. They play carry a, a welder on this bus. We should play a game. That's like the basic thing. Yeah. That's like nothing. We have a steam juicer on there. I think that's the most weird one. But I mean, here, I'll just I'll walk you through the front part. The dinette seating. So you already saw like the individual space. Kids got their own stuff. This is drilled down actually. And the cat can spill it everywhere inside there and it doesn't make a mess. Uh, she's got her own little cat door for Nico. So he can go while on the road. You just put that in. <laughs> just put only that in. Yeah. Only because we go to, we've been going to a few places that the cat really can't go out. Or so chooses like, not to, he's like, no. Yeah, dude. otherwise he literally goes out, goes potty, and comes right back in like a dog. So when they say go out, go in, oh, yeah. they actually have, it's covered up with a towel. No, it's not. It's right here. There's a cat door. Dedicated. Dedicated for his convenience. So that's been an interesting one. We've traveled with him for a little bit now, and... <laughs> The cat just comes and goes as it pleases. Yeah. And, and he just chills with us. He goes off and 
certain areas he's not supposed to go hunt, we found out, so we have to keep him in, like national parks. Um, <laughs> but then, but we just kept him in. That was why we put the kitty litter thing in, was because the yes, found out you're so not supposed to let them go in. out. But they so, wanted to come back with a prairie dog. That would be bad. Uh, <laughs> like really bad. <laughs> So, we were like, oh shit, here we go. think about that. Here's one example. There's the bucket seats. Oh man, it's loaded. Oh, there's a whole mattress in there. That's right. You picked the, up the uh, disgusting couch. one. Yeah. Yeah, That's right. Jacob's. It's a That's family of six. Everything is dirty all, all the time. Right, right. But they're big, deep, deep storage. Trash. Yep, trash. We got the dog drawer. So that is all the way from cleaning products, nail clipping, fun. Every drawer is custom built for what it yeah, uh, contains. You know, we even carry a uh, shop vac on here, ready to go, fire extinguisher. We've got three of them throughout the house. The kids know where they're at, super important. Um, I mean, yeah, this is Sean Ling's this, realm. This is interesting right here, yeah. these nothing, magnets. Nothing has ever fallen except oh. for one time. Okay, so one time. I'm pretty sure these right. are the same magnets that we saw in the Van Fest episode in uh, uh, Dave and Nikki's build. They're Ikea magnets. No, ours is not Ikea. I don't know what this those from. are not Ikea. His, they not said those are Ikea. It's a I think we got it off of Maybe it's Amazon. Bed Bath & Beyond, maybe? We got ours off of Amazon, and he looked up the magnet, to, the magnet like how strong yeah. the magnetation, whatever the fuck. Mm. I don't know what it's called. Mag <laughs> it's like the magnetic system? Pound force. Pound <laughs> force, what is this? Like it's a strong magnet. But the only it's time I've ever knocked anything off was when I was cooking, and I grabbed it too fast, and I pulled Several another knife them. off of the magnet. Then it comes flying at you, and we're thankful we have plywood floors because it just <laughs> sticks right in there, and it's good as long as it misses my feet. There you go. That's all that matters. But so, no, yeah. she's always cooking in here. Yeah. It always smells really good in this bus. It yes. is. Uh, you you can smell her bus from a little ways away. Always yeah. good. It's actually helped out a lot. Like we've had a tow a tow guy helped us pull us out one oh, time. Oh yeah, just for he, a little plate of food. Because he smelled our food. Yeah. <laughs> He's Shout like, what is that? Treat. I was like, I will give you a Yeah, we were stuck in mud. Dinner. And she was like, plate of food? And he was like, yeah, and 20 bucks. And he was like, pull, I'll pull you out. And we're like, sweet. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> learn to barter. But yeah, we're always cooking in here, always making something. Here, the goal was to this, learn yeah. how to, well, when we got on the bus, the goal was to learn how to make as much as the stuff that we consume mm -hmm. by myself. And then like, once I got past like, okay, making bread and making pasta and the, the kind of homemade replacement things that you kind of do. Like I've got granola out that's gonna happen today. I've got banana bread. That's this week's bread, loaves, or actually three days worth. That's gonna be vinegar. And like, once I started learning how to make all those things, I wanted to learn how to make the condiments and the, like the things that make the, pit, the plate. So I've got, this'll be going into vinegar. Um, I'll be pulling my steam juicer out later and juicing them so that I can try to make a uh, homemade cider, like hard cider, because I love pear cider. I didn't even think about that until like mid last night. I was like, I can make pear cider. Ace's pear cider is my favorite. She's and I don't very drink. good at foraging. Very good at and foraging. And the kids. This was the kids. This was all them. They went and picked, they found a tree. And I had just paid 99 cents a pound Which for like a two pounds of freaking pears at my grocery store. So yeah, just yeah. look around. I mean, you can't really mess up on fruit. Well, it's like we hung out at the beach for three or four days they showed up and first day they showed up we all of a sudden had mussels mussels sand fleas we tried those sand out fleas, that was a, you weren't there for that i you missed, missed those the sand fleas. i missed oh, those the were sand good. fleas those were good i think they just got to be like the smaller and you got to really fry them up the bigger yeah. ones were a little mushy on the inside yeah, the I, the <laughs> I was like i don't know it's a hard I shell think it's more the mushy inside. Skeleton. i think you got to just peel it apart right pop the back off so something to see it. just to make it a little bit more edible. we need to go back to the beach now um <laughs> what else we, i mean you got your whole so she's she I have like, stuff so, this okay. morning so this morning while we were hanging out in here the whole time the pressure cooker was yeah, going the pressure off cooker is back there right now resting that large that pot in the very back yeah she was sitting here canning this whole morning while we were doing our morning Why is this just toy? shoot the coffee. shit routine yeah coffee and hot chocolate yeah i'm usually <laughs> maintenancing food all day mostly because we want to Wait, it's not like i'm i have to manage food i prefer to like if i can cook the kids breakfast lunch and dinner just so that i can keep applying like the different skills and cycling through food because food's always coming in and it has to go out like i have to use my canned items if i'm canning them you know the beans these are these aren't canned yet they're just uh soaking which i didn't mean to do but the 
if I can them, then it's got to get used. And so I cycle through the whole process of the canning pantry. These are all items that are either items that are going to be, you know, ginger extract. And these are cooking oils that I've made. This was the stuff that I did for our seafood. So I could fry the stuff in the oil that was already infused with like the flavors of that dish. I need to make mustard. This is blackberry wine or vinegar. I'm not sure what I'm going to leave it to. It's just constant. Our medicine cabinet. You know, all the things, if you get poison ivy, you rub jewelweed and isopropyl alcohol on you. And then I've got black drawing salves and mullein oil and all the things. Tons of spices. Yeah. They were at a point when we had the garden the first two years on the bus, I had like 40 plants on here that we would, every oh time we stopped and went, he oh hated me. Loves me, but hated me. This is the coolest me. thing ever actually. So back before you met us, like these tubs right here, would come all the way down to where you're at and line both sides. Or they would fill our we entire had, back bedroom. We had wood built essentially like above ground garden boxes and I had straps on the front end. We would lift them and walk in. These are like fig trees. Like no, they'd come up like here. <laughs> oh yeah, it was the coolest thing ever. People would be like, you just unloaded like a Literally greenhouse out of your house. And I was like, yeah, you should see what else is inside, dude. Like. Yeah, but, cool. but when I had all of those, those were all, it's the, that garden right now is all edible and medicinal, except for the little plant that Chloe bought for herself, like when one of our travels, but like all of my herbs for the most part were at the time, like cultivated from my little garden. Like I would grab them and just small batch dehydrate them in the dehydrator and then I'd store them. Yes, yeah, she said dehydrator. There's a dehydrator a right here. Yeah, that's a dehydrator. There's an induction cooktop underneath. There's a burn box, a step ladder, and then if you lift this, there's a little inside one that has my food saver, like bag, um, vacuum sealer. Let's actually there. talk about And then that. back there, there's like, this is just, I'm processing stuff, so I've got all my, my dry drawer out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of processing, I'm on power, so I got a bunch of shit. Yeah. So all of my dry just herbs. Pull out, honey. Grab your end, I'll pull out my end. All my dry herbs sit down there. Whoops. That was travel day. So I have like reishi mushroom and hops. I've got different types of, I don't even know, this is diatomaceous earth. Helps, it doesn't help. There's a bunch of stuff right now. Yeah, I need see. to like figure there out is, if I want to move it or not. Yes, there's a ridiculous amount. I didn't even that's, know this was in here until yeah. just now. Yeah, yeah, that's mostly foraged. And then some of the stuff Swiss was from Army like um, mountain rose herbs or like- They're not kidding. Fire. This is the Swiss <laughs> army knife of buses for sure ready for the apocalypse and then hey yeah let's lift it up and while you got it here honey hold that jar thing still so there you go there's the dehydrator oh get going we're on power use it up yeah Sorry. so on that note like she has her uh vacuum seal bag here she's got this is a huge system this is actually a burn box only we use um, burn box or but, like cardboard let's slide it back in <laughs> we're in a no burn zone oh the one thing i like i don't think a lot of people consider is when you're on power that induction cooktop we have right here, like use it and abuse it, vice the propane, because right. you got, like free power. Like, why would I use a consumable source of energy when I have a renewable one when I'm out of sight? But Just my canning thought. stuff can't go on that. <laughs> None of the like container, so I stopped using the gas. Right. But we have another gas burner that comes out. So yeah, that's the kitchen. I mean, it's get a big sink. Don't get There's, a small sink. We did the stupid like 15 inch by 15 nautical little one. And I was like, this will be great. And then we couldn't wash anything. Yeah, I've got a 14 by 14 in my van because I'm very limited on space. But you're cooking and small. I'm cooking small just for myself. So that does make a difference. But like, I can't even wash my pan without it being a problem yeah, inside. It. So if Absolutely you're looking at these videos for ideas on tips to build your own out, if you can fit a large sink, by all no, means, make it a in. priority to make it a large sink Absolutely. because you can brush your teeth. You can do you can do a lot of things in the big sink. I've washed my feet like. <laughs> We've done things in the sink, but like the little ones, like the bathroom one, I'm pressing hard to try to get rid of it because it just, it just is shallow and tiny. And this is Chloe. Everywhere. Hey, Chloe. Hello. <laughs> you they're like, I don't even care about interviews anymore. <laughs> they're always, they're just in out, in out. We've so you will probably see kids in and out through the whole video. That's four kids living in a bus. Any? I don't even know. There's oh, a lot in there. Nah, well, you should do a jar. Do you guys want to see in these? All right, yeah, they want to see in them. We should do a jar count. So this is my lord. All spices on this side of extra, like whatever I need. These are little jars of like little spices, and then this one's like yogurt toppings, like things that you put into bread, sunflower seeds, walnuts, like the the nuts and seeds. 
I guess. And then below that one goes to, and this is. Look, look at it. the locking mechanism. That's what the thing them. a lot of people want to see. Listen, I hated them because oh they were gosh. ugly. And Johnny fought with me. No, we didn't okay, fight. Okay, about two and a half years in, she refused to use this eyelet locking hasp <laughs> thing. And I'm like, this is the simplistic of like RV life. <laughs> She had these bungees. We had to go and mismatch, and they made big X's and cross. You'll see it in the back for the other one, but now it's just done. He hated me. <laughs> like I finally gave in at like three years. Three, well, like, once you gave in, do you like it better? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I hate that I took that long, but yes. So if you get going down, it goes to grains. It has all types of grains that we cook with stored up and it goes further back than that that's impressive amount of weight too it looks like oh yeah, oh, yeah we carry good slides. Good they're 50 pound they're 50 slides. pound drawer yeah, sides each one each of them one, each set. oh no 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 these ones aren't because they were utensils but then we have like our flour and baking oh something left it open that and that goes grating. back again and then like all of our sauces this is for cooking and that goes further back i have a shit ton of wine back there but it's not for drinking it's for cooking <laughs> And then these two drawers are basically tools for baking, cooking. I have pasta machine, lemon juice presses. I have a meat grinder, like a handheld meat grinder that's back there. And an electronic meat grinder that goes to my KitchenAid. Pot, like cheese graters, all types of shit. And then this is like the baking drawer. We got the potato press, Ninja, and then like my stuff for fermentation. And Swiss Army knife. <laughs> we're, just ready to go, we're just ready to go off grid like we go off grid we go hiking camping for a little bit we go like foraging we're just in the forest processing oh, yeah. free food basically this is the make sure i don't knock something out this is a fermentation larder this is where i keep like my kombucha yeah. and like some hey, that's done. like lemon like when i have my lemon peels i just put it in there and it's vinegar now like strong ass vinegar Got my kombucha, Gilbert, and then all my other things, my hair stuff, KitchenAid mixer. And then for the most part, I highly recommend cooking with cast iron. So like I have all the cast iron my pots for the most part. I have a cast iron wok and a griddle. And then I have baking items and like two or a few bigger pots back here for bigger items because I'm always cooking for a bunch of people. Easily. Always like cooking. It. Like I said, when I made the comment this bus always smells good like imagine your grandma's kitchen the and then make it better all the time <laughs> make it cold make it exotic because it's like all different so random smells but so like this one this side isn't pretty easy this one's got jars and then like cereals and stuff at the bottom this one's the the fruit drawer so this one's almost always stacked produce as much as we can it's a lot of fruit yeah. yeah we actually loaded up like hardcore yesterday well that's why he's going to let the produce stands that good dollar a pound deal to shit. Yeah. Get some soap, please. <laughs> and then I usually have these out. This is our our oven, and it's a fifty. It's oh. a seventy five dollar like convection That's a Walmart oven. Walmart convection oven. But I can oven. do two it's... 12 inch pizzas in here yeah. and a rotisserie chicken in here. Like Not you can the put the rotisserie time. steaks in, and the rotisserie thing goes off, and it makes rotisserie chicken. Sweet. I mean, I have to use it with the generators or on shore power, but. You just run the generator for what you have to cook it. And then we got this. This was a great thing of space that we kind of calculated out. Like, wow, you can organize your big and your small lids and they're out of the way. Like, yeah, you can open this up. Doesn't really get in the way. There's all your nuts. <laughs> nuts. We got chips. And then these two are like all baking secondary, like storage. So I have like soybeans back there so I can make soy milk or tofu or whatever the hell. The stuff rice. that you don't access regularly so that yeah, you don't have to pull this down. It's everywhere. like my yeah. like second yeah I just keep like yeah. everything's in here as storage for access for me to cook at. It's like my constant but then I have everything backed up almost in double back here. Yeah. So I've got like double the flour, bread flour, double all brown purpose. Brown sugar, all purpose. Sugar, bread salts. flour. Yeah. Anything for baking basically has got a double back here. Yeah. And then you got she's got her soda stream over here. She makes instead it's kind of like a soda like uh, shrub. Yeah, so I keep so all of our shrub drinks up here. Up there, yeah. So it's just apple cider vinegar infused with like citrus fruit or like right. herbs, and so then you use that as the flavoring with like maple syrup or a simple yeah. syrup. Cool. And it tastes damn delicious. Then we got the coffee tea station right there. That's always in use. We got a radio thing. This is great for kids if you're full time on the road because you know they have their own radios. You can reach out to them. They can go play wherever the heck they are. 
invest in good radios so they can reach a long way because our kids will be like mile two miles away sometime on a river just having fun and it's good because it's like it's like letting them learn how to communicate like we teach he he has a background with communication on radio so like he makes sure that they understand like hey you need a radio check if you're moving you need to tell us if you have an issue you hold the button down and you hot mic it and you start explaining the situation where you're at like if you need us like teaching them how to communicate properly across just anything to anybody that you're like trying to be in communication with but it's a cool tool before phones sweet yeah you want to show us the back now the bone crumb, huh? First, admire johnny's beautiful oh, that's our home school. School. yeah we're we'll all cover prep. phone numbers we got we got <laughs> school. just leave whatever you can blank that out and cut it but yeah that's the homeschool and get ready if you had not brought attention to it, nobody would have noticed them. Probably yeah, not. whatever. <laughs> and don't look at this. Whatever. <laughs> I was trying to be off sex. All right. Mm. Now we're into bunks. So there you are right there on the back side of the door. Let's start with that. Oh, look, at you can see those emulators I recently bought. It's a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo emulator. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so the Jacob man was getting into Super Mario Brothers 3 yesterday and like losing it. All right, so this is... Well, no, the other part of this door is that it's a Dutch door, too. Oops, oh, sorry. yeah, that's true. It does so it break opens in Dutch. half. So then... It here, stays I'll switch pinned so that our fans can go down the so, hallway. And this is how we keep it moved uh, while we're traveling. We just literally put that little hasp in right there. Boop. You know? Boop. Holds solid. And this is magnetized base, so that just magnetizes. Or the side magnets, those are the side magnet wall over here, and stays in that way. Oh, cool. We can turn on the fan and it pulls the air through the bus from the back bedroom on that one to this one to out so the bedrooms stay nice and comfy. This is the first time I think I've walked past this wall right here and it's much bigger than I even realized. Yeah, so they got the TV, they've got a couple other components down in there plugged in. They've got the splitter so it goes to the Super NES, the regular NES, as well as the little Apple device here. You know, Velcro the remotes so they don't lose them. We don't game that. You know, yeah, and it just works out good. This is Chloe's bed. Everyone's got their own little fans. So they got these 12 volts. That's low, high. You know, they got these touch switches right here. It can go to a nightlight glow, which is great. You yeah, those ones were awesome. We didn't touch, put those in until year two. Press too. and hold, it'll brighten. And oh. then you press and hold, and it will dim. And then one tap off, one tap night light. And then, yeah, Boop. that's it. So Super nice. I'm assuming 12, 12 volts. volts. 12 volts, yep. yeah. I know it's a little bit of wire, but it's like so worth we'll it. We see some it's mice up in here. They were $30 a piece, but like they're good. Mm -hmm. Like all the different settings was worth it for their little individual. And here's how their pieces. beds go up. You just get, and maybe not Jacob's right now. Oh, he broke his thing. He broke what? Oh, his gas prop came off? So they got little gas props in here. And that just oh. holds their beds up, split, so they can do what they need to do. They had touch lights. I don't know what happened to his other one. Man, these kids are just beating these things up. Oh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, we but they got the overhead light. Space. We let them put in their own curtains. So That's you can cool. see the curtains here for Alexis. She stapled She's got down. him zippered and stapled. Matthew's got his own. I just spilled some coffee down it. And then Chloe <laughs> uses her uh, little cat curtains. You the can original pull. wire that we put in. This was curtains. the original that I put in, you know, and everyone's <laughs> done everything differently but the nice one. Whatever. And yeah, Phoebe's awesome. obviously. Oh yeah, I forgot this. This is a lot of space. So we not only have this one, but they come out in sets of two. So there's eight on this side and eight on that side. Yeah. So that storage. gave us a lot of storage. Extra blankets. Um, there's, a, there's literally two boxes that are just arts and craft supplies. Like yeah. But the sacrifice we've seen obviously is headroom when sitting in your bed. So the bed is like for sleeping, like maybe some like laying down iPad and whatever, but all the life is outside or in the living room. They can't, that, so when Victoria addressed in her walk through this scene where she says more headroom, that's what she was talking about. Yeah. These children can't quite sit up in theirs and hang out in their bunks. No, the bunk. little yeah. kids can sit up in their bunks, but yeah. the older kids are just now reaching to the point 13, where they can't 13, 11 is where up. they can't like fully sit up tall. But which they is sit like, there, but she got a different bed and a mattress that Z true, folds she so that she can one. fold it and then she sits yeah. into her bed like a, like a couch almost. So right. she figured out hers for her birthday. She was like, can I get a new mattress? Which, yeah. sure. <laughs> and then right. Matthew just oh, this is a cool one here. Let's switch positions here. I, I put these in for the kids so that they could get into bed. But these things right here, man, these handles, oh, man. strong enough to get me in, you know, like, 
So I put them in for the kids to do that. That's interesting. And they come up and they'll like swing across these things. That's yeah, but I put it into the rib of the bus, you know. Right. So that it'll hold. But yeah, that's how they get up. They just fork like this with their feet. And then they get to the point where they're just like, and they swing in, you know, so. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the, uh, the restroom. So compost toilet with a urinal diverter. I stapled this on because we found like while you're driving, it can somehow, yeah, shits and giggles. Um, it helps cover, <laughs> yeah. it keeps the smell, but more so the flies, you know, when you go in the big fly areas. Right. Boom, cover it, not even a worry anymore. And so this is a- it Prevents the kids from like ripping it off all the time. This is a self-built, correct? Yes, that's just plywood with a, a buy-on lid. Um, lift it up, you've got a urine diverter. I actually sprayed it yellow on the lip because the blue was too dark to identify. So when you're looking down, if you want to make sure you're going in the urine diverter, you can actually see it now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's just fluorescent yellow that I sprayed down in there to help with like just eyes so you can see it. Sometimes you gotta make sure and then, you're going yeah. down the urine. So <laughs> talking about the toilets, this is a big topic All whenever time. you're talking about living on the road. Comfortable. Uh, a compost toilet is a must, yes, yeah. but Sorry. what I am now telling everyone at shows or everyone I talk to, I am not sponsored by Nature's Head. I bought a Nature's Head, paid full price for it, and now understand that was a big mistake. You probably have what? Forty have... to a hundred dollars in this? <laughs> no. Oh no, not even, dude. So look at this. 100? Forty this is, to a hundred. This is half inch. Maybe this is half inch 40? ply. All right. So half inch ply. Um, five gallon bucket that we cut to receive up against the urine diverter. And then in the back, you know, we even keep like, oh, there's your little Clorox bleach and blue. You know, it keeps it smelling good. Um, and then yeah, man. The rest buy buy the lid off wherever. We didn't even buy that wood. That wood I'd, was something that. But if bucks. you had to, if you had to buy it, a hundred bucks. If you had if to buy, you had to buy the bucket, bucks. the lid, the ply, oh, yeah. the screws. You can go on under to like bucks. Etsy or whatever. So, they have those urine diverters. You you can buy the kit. They're like, uh, what are those plastic printed kits now? I don't know. I'm not sure. The plastic printing. <laughs> You're the one. 3D talking. printing. Oh, 3D printing. Yeah. It's like the 3D printed urinal diverters. Like okay. Separate had sold that we bought ours from Separate. That's the other company that does the gotcha. the toilets like yours. We bought the urine diverter and the toilet lid from Separate. Yeah. Because they had that option to do a self build. And like, then that's DIY. like yeah, it's just like. But now it there's from a there. bunch so, on Amazon and like Etsy. There's a bunch on there now you can find. There's there's many options, but the main thing we're addressing is. The Nature's Head toilet is a thousand dollars for a toilet, mm -hmm. and then it really room. it really doesn't do anything special that's different than this right here, other than it looks a little fancier maybe. Does yours well, then, smell better? Like, does, you, does yours have urine? So it has a the the Nature's Head has a fan in it that is supposed to pull air from outside into the chamber and then ex exiting the vehicle. Really and it does work very well as long as your roof vents are not very strong if your roof vents are very strong then it overpowers those fans and then you have a direct draft pulling through your toilet which is not very pleasant summertime shit. oh it's great and then great the next the next drawback to the nature's head that i really see is just a huge fail versus the diy is the diy they put a bag in the toilet and as you use it, you put your, just like this, you have your peat moss beside it, yeah, and this, your flush is a This is like scoop. an ice buck scoop, scooper thing. I think we even found it, like, in the trash somewhere. So, <laughs> you have a flush mechanism that kind of compensates the stir handle that's in the bottom of the nature's yeah, head. But whenever it comes time to actually empty it, all they have to do is grab their bag out, pull the drawstring tight, and throw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. I have to take my whole toilet out of my van, carry it out. Everyone's like, gross. Wrap a bag around it, flip it over upside down, bang it out of the corners, then wash it if you can. Mm, if you can. If yep. you can, fill it back with dirt, and then read it. This is so much easier, and they didn't pay $1,000 for it. If you're building one, don't make the same mistake I did. Don't listen to all the people who are sponsored and getting their crap for free. Okay, to be clear, as the female like head matron on this. It's awesome for the cheapness. It's awesome for the convenience. It is also like, just know that it's gonna leak every once in a while. You're gonna you get pissed kids. somewhere. If you got kids. We have four sure. kids, so there, there's a slight pee smell every once in a while. The shit's only, you only smell the shit if they didn't cover it, thank God. Like the peat moss really does do like 
smell prevention like it really does but know that you will get a fly in your ass here and there it's gonna happen it's kind of part of the life what was it that you said in victoria's like you, there's inconveniences that you kind of just deal with just learn how to shit real quick and get out well what is it honey we live in a outdoor kitchen essentially oh yeah this is an outdoor space yeah it's this an outdoor space outdoor man outdoor space yeah. yeah so if you're if you're trying to enter this life with it to be like a hundred percent the convenience of a stick built house you're not gonna have nope. it yeah, no. Go you got hotel. false reality <laughs> but now when we say like made the comment about flies uh bugs i will say i have noticed bugs. if you don't have if you're not setting parked if you keep moving and you bounce you don't have pest problems i don't have That's pest problems true. no pest problems pest at all problems we have Flies. No. Flies are a pain in the Everybody ass. Has Everybody flies. has flies. Flies will get we in have the like. Paper. You'll see the fly paper. We always have those out because those help yep. mitigate the flies. But, but ants, roaches, food. your typical household pest. Since we're moving, they don't find the food. We have mice, nope. but those are cultivated on the bus. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you talking about? I, I saw your head snap, and I was like, I got him. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Okay. Yeah, let me put my brush back. <clears throat> so yeah. Also, so the kids all got their own little shelf in here too. So you got like the top communal area, you know, Alexis, Matthew, Jacob, and Chloe. They got some books and magazines they can read. This is actually a, the trash can in here. It's just a reusable tin can, soaps. Uh, you know, the fan, this is great when you're pooping. Man, let me tell you, you can open this thing up. You close it off for a little privacy, right? Turn on that fan. And you're just like, oh, dude, like if it's hot. You know, I got, oh, this is good, this is, this is quality, yeah. So, just so you know, important. That's awesome. <laughs> I was happy with that build. All right. Um, yeah, this is so much of her. So we put the towels on the outside to yeah. help cover all of the canning items. But this was this stuff. was kind of like I told you before how we used to do the drawers in the kitchen. Hello. And that's kind of how it would react. So <laughs> this was gonna be the shower, and then we were like, "Yeah, I'd we're like, food nah. So now we actually hang the so speaker here at night. These are just kids. things hey. that I use for other stuff to like <laughs> make space for whatever. I don't know. And then I have all my like drinks and fermented things up top. These are all drinks, Watch hard ciders, <laughs> uh, whatever. Teenage angst right now. So yeah, you see my cranberry juice that I told you about. Oh, cranberry so still good. in them. Yep. And you can eat them after. Yeah. And then yeah, this is all sure. food. Yeah, just. <laughs> Um, Jams and there's, jellies. And there is a ridiculous there's amount of jars. Hundreds of Look all jars. my pickled, I love Look this pickled items. Milks and half and half and almond milk. And These are, this is the applesauce from that guy that was in the parking lot. He sold us like oh, yeah. 200 apples for like 10 bucks. 10 bucks. He was like, yeah, I just got these off of a pallet, like a truck. They were damaged. They were beautiful, organic apples, delicious. We broke open them in the parking lot at the laundromat and made applesauce while our laundry was going. Yeah, it was so like, good. Like, did two batches of applesauce. Yeah, the kids were just, all of us were in there just jamming out apples. Yeah, right great. now, I'm put, I gotta put more beans away. It looks like I'm seeing uh, electrical components right here. Yeah, let me get all this stuff off I'll for a second. Relax, relax, give me yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the electrical closet. Uh, we do have like the radios I talked about with the kids so they can come back here. Pull radio off the charging station. Channel mode. Fire it up. It's the B-Tech radios. We like them a lot. They've actually um, sponsored us a few, which was really cool. Yeah, they sent us out. And uh, my brother had a, uh, this charging dock too, so we ended up getting that. But electrical closet, Victron for the solar, the hot water heater. I just use this system right there. They're, for breathability for the heat of the closet and then this is a magnet so it just breaks free off that so there you go i usually come in where you're at and i just put that like that turn my light yeah i keep my guitar in there too so <laughs> push it back. so there's our main breaker and um the black box is our surge protector that's where all power comes through and then it branches off into our pure sine wave 24 volt inverter charger that how many uh, uh, watts is the inverter here? Uh, you know? I think it's a right there on the side. If you could read, I think it's a three thousand. Uh, yes, three thousand. All right, yep. And that has done us very well. Um, and like I said, from here, this goes down to our batteries, which are inside that other corrugated piece of wood right there. And what kind of capacity do you have as far as battery? Uh, I'd have to look at my notes, but they're Power Stars. I think it's 200 amp hours for 10 hours a pop. And okay. I have two of those. 
Okay. So it's been working out really well, even though like we had some trouble in the beginning with me properly setting like those little um, dip switches they're called. There are like five of them and they only move like two millimeters and it's like A or B, A or B, right. you know? So I had that one wrong as it was pulling out of the battery as its primary source first instead of AC load. So that kind of... Do you know what this component right here is? I saw it for the first time in a Nets yeah. bus, but I didn't this know what it was. This is what converts your AC power AC comes over at 120 over to here. <laughs> Bang that good right as everything turned off. The 12 volt system then comes over here and powers all DC or 12 volt systems. So you're okay. talking these lights above us so that I can go like this. So what is that component called? Do you know? It's just a DC converter. AC to DC converter? Yeah, yeah, and it's very simple, man. It's just AC in and DC is pumping out. There's a tiny little um, Phillips head dial that you can tune it in. So if you find your system operates better at like a 12.7 or a 12.4, you can literally dial it exactly to what you want. Hmm. So yeah, it's very nice. <clears throat> and then yeah, just drop that down, hook it up. This is just a little magnetic light that I keep. What is this thing right here? Okay, so that's my 100 amp you know, MPPT oh, solar charge controller. Oh, that is a massive charge controller. And here's my reasoning. Like, I know we're not going to be on bus life forever, but the plan is when we get to the farm, I'm going to pull that out, I'm going to build a solar shed, and that is going to have the capacity to grow into the next set. So I kind of did a forward investment. Um, right here, too, we got the Tagagi um, tankless hot water heater. This thing is great. Um, it's only failed once here in the last three years, and that's because we went through a super dust storm area. And I have a feeling on the burner plates, there's just a, a smidge burnt stuff that's not allowing it to properly combust. So I'm in contact with the company right now to try to figure that one out. But yeah, I'm a bit of a nerd, I guess, in that regards. <laughs> um, right here, going into our water in terms of systems, I built this step up so that we could one, bridge the water across to the other side of the bus. Um, but in addition, we have the two, 100 gallon jugs on both sides of me for the 200 gallons of fresh drinking water. Uh, you know, it comes in, gets filtered through. We just replaced the sure flow. Literally lasted almost three years on the nose. No problems, man. Hard like, ran. Hard years. ran, six years. Hard ran three years. That pump got a beating from us. Yeah, and it's still in use actually. It's still functional. It just now requires a command switch because it can't figure out when to turn off. But I'm gonna re, I'm gonna upcycle that to the farm. And that's going to go out to the animal area and i'll just have a switch or probably push water to a fill point and dude up yeah reuse um so right here this is pretty cool i don't know a lot of people who do this but this is a uh braided tube super strong you've probably seen them before they do not flex it connects both of these 100 gallon tanks so that simultaneously when i fill or drain they come up and down together so you're not like draining okay. one tank and then trying to drain the other tank. In the meantime, you're driving like, oh, shit. you know, like, yeah. So always cool. balance your tanks. Do you have two 100 gallon tanks? Yeah, right here on each side, man. Um, you can't really see because there's so much storage and kombuchas and whatever's, but. That is a ton of water. Yeah, and so there's the fill point back there. You might be able to see it um, all the way in that big, large tube right there. Mm -hmm. And that comes in, that's my H2O inlet. And that fills this baby up from top to bottom. And yeah. All of Sean Ling's fermentations, gotta be careful. They're not just fermentations, they're also infusions. Here's our love. Yeah. There's multiple things Here's happening. <laughs> There's more one way to eat. Fermentation infusion um, products, shit. I know, I'm wrong. Laundry bag, boom. So, the bedroom. And I was got by a battery again. So let's try to redo this part right here where he was telling us about the bedroom because I think I missed most of it. Okay, so start from the beginning. All right, so we got the separate beds. Uh, the beds come up. So that's how we store our clothes. They got gas props underneath there. I also use a little, little wood right here with a cut with a screw that comes through just so it can grab. And that way I can work underneath here without crushing my fingers. Um, and we sleep separate, but we do have this insert that we can pull out. And I like the fact that I turned this into a essentially a massage and chiropractic table. So it comes all the way across. You can put your face in there, face down, you know, get that good back rub. She's got all these different oils and 
things that she's created. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's her stuff. <laughs> I swear she's, she's gonna kill me one of these days. You know? Stop yeah. saying that shit. You're gonna get it premeditated. You gotta kill it. <laughs> you, you heard it here. How well does the air conditioner work back there that I see? Oh, really good, man. So window shaker. As long as we're on power like this, I mean, crap, we could fire. No, it up we up. can run it on our generators, but also there's a reasoning why we put it in the center like that. So step step up, Chris. So AC goes on. Yeah. There's the thing. Oh yeah. We have a Dutch door you, too. So like we have a fan at the bottom. Yeah, so if we it. need airflow, it goes through, right? Right. The door closes, it has a fan on the back, or a, we put a towel up that keeps the AC just in this area. So the front area in the summertime, when you wake up to go make coffee, that part will be a little bit warmer. In the wintertime, it's a little bit colder. You go right. and cook, it gets a little bit warmer, you know? But the doors, both double Dutch. Double Dutch. Sweet. On the back. You can see a shit ton of my jars again. More jars. There are so many. She's she's made a comment about how many jars are on this bus, and it is a ridiculous Hundreds. amount. We did jars. a contest Hundreds. for my just the canning jars, and I think there was like 264, and that was like six months ago. I need to do one for all of the jars, like dry storage. Like I found most of those jars that are up there in the woods. They were just like yeah. deep buried. Oh yeah, that was I with uh, sunshine and, in the woods. Yeah, up in Kentucky. Hmm. Yeah, Erica and Matt. Yeah, they went onto their family property, and there was just like overgrowth over all these old jars and we we're just if like reaching through like shaking out dirt like that's still good keep it like oh look there's the lid like man. let's go yeah it's not crazy even funny. i only had a jacket but i mean look at look at back here bag. man all these droppers and other things that she's been doing i don't know if you can even see those ones down in there those are like my products like my first aid stuff that i make for our house and then tons long. of stuff and we haven't even gotten to the outside yet yeah do we need to bring these outside into the sun side note no okay not right now. um yeah, and literally I'm sitting next to this. This is cooling down. Like we've got the rubber heat pads underneath it. This is just a piece of wood, like I said, that just bridges underneath our beds that stays there. Just yeah, and then down there is like here. Let me switch places. Oh yeah, there's tons. and this real quickly. This bus a is a uh, this bus is a pusher. So yeah, whenever it's running, it's extremely quiet up front, and they can actually talk. It's not that loud oh, back here either. Well, I mean, you can watch a movie. With there's also this. Let's show them. So there's also the split doors down here we made. Oh, be careful. I know. I there's know so many I jars can. on there. I don't think there's I can. So, many jars so anyways, there's tons of jars like laid down You have in to there, come to like... my channel to see that one. <laughs> yeah, you might have to do that. My channel or my Instagram whenever I so, see these ones. So, what is Chris, your here. channel? What is your Instagram? Go down low and check this this all out. And you can see we got like a bow down there. Like we got every jars down there, shoes, like there's space within space. Oh, yeah. this is the space. board that Jess made him. Those are all just ferments and stuff that are sitting or infusions that I've already strained that are waiting to be used or vinegars that are processed. It just goes on and on <laughs> and on. So because I don't have my garden, now I have bulk storage. So this is all bulk, like all my, all my stuff that goes to replace those jars, like basils and stuff like that. And then underneath here. So, hang on. Hey. I, got, I got you. I got you. Go ahead, Chris. So he handed me a flashlight to show you guys, right? And I handed it back to yeah, him, like, like off hey, camera. And he was like, yeah, it has its own home. Its own little home. Everything has a place. That was cool. That was good. Everything's got a place. But like, there's a sewing machine. I have a still, like an actual moonshine capable of making still. I use it to make hydrosols and like essential oils, but I can make stuff with it. And then like, I have my tattoo kit and like wood carving kit. Down oh, there. and when she says tattoos, show them your... Well, I'm still like... She's still working, but she's Johnny's doing... are better on here, his I thighs. I some recent color work right here. She's doing some stick poke. Oh God, Johnny oh. and Tatus. <laughs> Grace the suck. Was I in the Marine Corps, Chris? <laughs> I watched them do that. They're, she yeah, literally is really stick poking him. Yeah. So we're being rushed out of here because the lady drove by. Uh oh, the lady Campground drove lady by. Told him y'all need to go. We're parked in a campground and it's time for me and Victoria to pull on out of here, and they are staying behind. So quickly, let's show you guys the exterior of the bus, yeah, and then. Quickly. We will see you on the next one. On the way one. out, though, show them this, what Sean Lingard did when we went to the back. Oh, so she already started processing those pears. Yeah, while we were doing this video in the back, she's processing pears to can more, right? Cider. Cider. Hard cider, bitches. Hard cider. I'm going to get lit on cider. I'm telling you, it's always always food and always smells good hey, here's here. Here's your bus. Put it here by the door for you. Thank right. you. Yeah, like a good magnet, right? Magnet. All right, so we got the mailbox. 
110 outlets that I dropped I'm in. I'm laughing at the mailbox. Mailbox is People great. People leave us notes all the time. It's great. Yeah, yeah, we find stuff If you there. see us in a parking lot, leave us a note. It's great. I love those little surprises. Here's a wood, uh, wood bay. We got kindling, tinder, ready to go make a log fire like immediately. Uh, grill and all the accessories. We got the two bays. They're eight foot. It goes all the way through the width of the bus. Uh, got the kayaks up front. They're on the collapsible D clips. How and much have, solar do you have up here? We have uh, 600 potential watts of collection. Uh, you also got that motion activated light up front. You got the big kayaks. You got the welded deck. Look at here's the base. That's how we dry our uh, life vests. You know, just a bungee. We drill the hole and just they hang there so they can dry. The uh, yeah, I'll show you how fast this comes down. This is the What's your head there? Eyelet. So you just one eyelet here. One eyelet there. Put it onto this eyelet. Put it onto that eyelet. That's three years that stayed functional like that. That is very so, handy. And uh, you got the 110 so you can plug out. We'll put our inverter cooktop out here and cook out here. And that way if it's too hot, you know, let it outside. Fresh water gravity fed so you just turn that um, spigot poles outside locked with cable so that if they had to take it they'd have to snap it uh, more one pen, pen if I'm working on the back here with my vice and stuff the power tools this is our tent actually so the kids used that last night bike rack for four bikes window shaker AC that's plexiglass now Two 50 foot collapsible clotheslines. That's our um, trolling motor. It's a 12 volt electric, so we can get in everywhere in the national forest and parks and the lakes because they're like, yeah, whatever. We have a dinghy and a kayak and paddleboard up yeah, top. Yeah, that's, that's underneath the kayak fight. is the black is the black dinghy underneath there, and then the paddleboard underneath that. And the kids' kayaks. Up front. And to your right is that exhaust port for the Tadagi hot water heater. Then the roof deck up here. Roof deck, yeah, all that's a sweet yeah. deck, it's a tanning deck, you know. Gotta get the brown on. And then I recommend you do everything that you've got with water and electrical inlet because if you go to an RV park, duh, you're gonna be plugged in on your back left side. Got my generators up front, which are right here, just a 50 foot thick extension cord that I ran all the way through the guts. And when we get on site, if we're gonna be running generators, I simply plug it in and we're ready to go. Like, Yeah, so I've not even done a walkthrough of my own van. I'm gonna have to do that on my <laughs> channel. That's yeah. funny. You're gonna have to. Shower, Baskets. outdoor shower. The poles come out here. We do have a curtain, but most of the time we're so remote, we're just butt naked out here. <laughs> uh, got your towel when I came here. The other side of the bay, this is more of the uh, the build, the welding, the construct screws, all the toolboxes. Um, this is the uh, air hose that taps into the air tanks very handy i've actually filled my tires up off of this air hose yeah 120 psi which is like really good uh two 30 pound propane tanks so if one goes empty we've got plenty of time just to switch it over and keep going big old tires i like that on these buses and then here is youtube and instagram the beehive family yeah some leveling blocks the two the generators a uh, small cooler that we just kind of have a uh, uh, ratchet strap down. Oh, it's great though. Polar bar. Get all my milks and everything. Yeah. He is very big on working out. So I thought this was a pull up bar. I never did ask, but yeah. I'm assuming, yeah. It's also buzzes and tennis. Yeah, it gives him his horns. Uh... And then, yeah, we've got the camera on the front. Uh, I've been meaning to get that raised so I can aim it to the back so that as we drive over low clearance areas I can switch my camera and be like, oh, 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 you know, and like, Yeah, because awesome. everybody makes fun of him for like how he goes into like places and he's like, oh man, all these people we'll get out and take like saws out and cut off limbs. And I was like, oh my god, why are you cutting everything off? And he's like, he said, rip shit up and it tears into things. It took our bike seat and ripped the entire the thing in half. Seat in half. Oh, I was like, son, I'm done. I need to go buy one. All these children that's it man beat them up all right well i think that's gonna wrap this one up let's say goodbye to the beehive family well, thanks just the parents just, just the parents because the kids are scattered everywhere else I forgot to we'll see you guys on the next one